moved here in 1954 and joined the parish uh, right away. I've always loved the Catholic Church from childhood on. I was married 47 years. I have, uh, we had 10 children, 36 grandkids, and 52 great-grandkids. So um, we've been busy. <laughs> Joe and I met um, in high school in the youth program here at St. Michael. Um, we were both on core team. Well, we knew each other in middle school, I guess, because we were part of the youth events, but um, we eventually did core team together. A good friend of mine talked us into going to do a little tour of the school. I didn't know there was a waiting list when Jenny Haller called and said that we could get in. Same thing, just tears of joy because I just knew that's where we meant, were meant to be. At the end of Matthew's Gospel, Jesus gave the church her marching orders when he said to his disciples, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them everything that I have commanded you to do. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. This is the core mission of the church, to go and make disciples. And that starts first and foremost with the people who come here, into our doors, reaching out to them, encouraging them to the life of Christian discipleship, and then going beyond these doors and inviting other people into relationship with Jesus Christ. You see, it takes disciples to make disciples. We make disciples of Jesus Christ through hospitality, prayer, formation, and charity. When Jesus called his first disciples, he said, come and see. He welcomed them in. And that's our first step is to be people of great hospitality, to say, come, come and join us. Come and be a part of this awesome community that strives to love God and our neighbor with our whole hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Prayer is the center of all we do in our spiritual life. Through the sacraments, through devotional prayers, through adoration, the rosary, and so many different other ways, we invite people to encounter the love of God and his power and his grace through that great gift of prayer and the sacraments. Here, Father leaves and you don't see the majority of people walk out. The majority of people kneel and it's like this powerful, um, almost indescribable feeling for me of reverence. Oh, it just, it just keeps my spirit alive. I can't imagine not going to Mass. Again, we welcome people in through hospitality. We teach them how to pray. We give them opportunities to pray. But then we need to form people in the faith. What does it mean to be a Christian? What does it mean to live the Christian life? And we do that in so many ways here at St. Michael. First and foremost, through our awesome Catholic school that's dedicated to passing on the faith and knowledge to children ages pre preschool all the way through eighth grade. And we're very much believers that our faith should be incorporated into every part of our life. And in having our kids attend the school where they can make that a part of an integration into every part of their life was really a key fundamental thing for us. We have our great faith formation program, LIFT, that helps engage our families and our young people in the faith. So we're learning the same things as the kids are learning at a different level, which really helps me understand how I can help them and guide them and give them the information they need. We have a dynamic youth ministry program that engages our teenagers in the faith of Jesus Christ, encourages them and supports them as they go through their teen years to be faithful disciples of Jesus Christ. The last way we strive to make disciples is by encouraging us to live a life of charity. Jesus said at the Last Supper, he said, a new commandment I give you, love one another as I have loved you. He said that other people will know that we're his disciple by our love for one another. And so in all that we do here at St. Michael, we strive to be people of great charity and great service. Well, I think the strength of the, the church is the community and the members. It's to see so many people serve in so many different, a variety of ways is really lifts you up too. Once you start volunteering or start helping out or do even, you know, the cinnamon rolls in the morning, you start to know, you know, one or two more people. And then every time you start to look around at church, you start to recognize more and more people. There's still just this longing and there still are close friends that are here. And yeah, there's just something about it that we're kind of like, no, that's, we feel at home here. In order to achieve our mission, we have several needs right now. First and foremost, we need a family room a space where we can gather together as a whole community. We also need multi-purpose and educational spaces, smaller spaces for formation, indoor activities and events, ministries, places where we can gather in small groups to pray and share our faith in personal and private ways. 
And finally, we would love to reunite our church and our school on a single campus so that our school is right next to the church so our students and teachers can come over here to the church whenever they want to pray, to experience God's love and his grace in this beautiful space we have here at St. Michael. It'd be great to all be together on one campus again. New space to expand as a parish and a community would be fantastic, um, especially new school buildings, shared learning spaces would be awesome. Over the last few years, under the leadership of our previous pastor, Father Richards, this community has done a master plan for our new campus here. We truly have a blessed heritage here at St. Michael. And currently, our community continues to grow. Thus, our programs here are at capacity. A feasibility study that we recently did shows the desire in the community for expanding our facilities here at St. Michael. The good news also is, is that this church, the debt on this church, will soon be paid off. Thousands of years ago, God spoke to his people and said, Who will go for me? Who can I send? And the prophet Isaiah stepped forward and said, Here am I, Lord, send me. God is always calling us, inviting us to a mission. And we have this great mission here at St. Michael. And we're inviting you to join with us in this mission, to partner with us in this bold future campaign. How can you help? First and foremost, we need your prayers. We need to shower this whole campaign with prayer, asking that God would bless us and guide us and direct us. We need your help as volunteers. No campaign can be successful without the help of many people. Many hands make light work. So if God is calling you to help with this campaign, which he is, then just say yes. Lastly, we need people to be generous. I'm inviting you, I'm asking you to be generous, to look at your finances and see, how can I go above and beyond my ordinary Sunday giving to help in a three-year pledge to this campaign so that we can bring about this bold future here at St. Michael. Every time I walk into this amazing space, in this amazing church, I look up at this dome and I'm reminded of Jesus Christ who looks down upon us. St. Michael is such a special place. And in this campaign, in this bold future, we have the chance to do something amazing, truly to set a legacy for this parish, for St. Michael, and make our community a bright shining star in our archdiocese.